Off we go. So I need to investigate the Bandari camp. Let's rule it out. So apparently Bandari in, in Moravita are using slit, slit hoppers. And they are re re reading books about their Dunman Hertz's. Wait, wait no. <laughs> House Redoran, okay. Uh, Dunman are direct descendants of the Altamere if the first folk. I don't suppose we yeah. have anything to cook. A vital food is yes, dwarves and even orcs. Yes, dwarves are where? Where? Elves. In the Elder Scrolls, Elder Scrolls universe. So this is this is uh, short of the uh, traitor's great host Dagoth. I thought this was secret. But not, not really, apparently. They are kind of uh, Elder Scrolls on Online is kind of doing its own thing with the lore. They are writing, rewriting the lore basically. Necropolis and Necrom. I have a feeling that we might come across a sixth house in some, some form. <laughs> okay, so th this is pissing on the Aslander. So this is every book is uh, written from the uh, perspective of the un uncertain witness. So the here's like Aslanders are savages. Yeah. Why are we stopping here when these dark elves lurk about the edges of our camp? Oh, Shadea, you worry too much. Surely they mean us no harm. Meh, old fool. <laughs> She's pretty big. What is it you want? Your nose is too close to my face. This one is called Shadea. She and her mercenaries are here only to protect a caravan for coin. This one dislikes this place and will remain no longer than she must. You have questions? Talk to the Elder. This one... This one is not in the habit of paying tithes to foreign saints. The Elder may have gone, but he insisted others stay at the camp. Fine by this one, so long as she gets paid. Yes, a nosy walker <laughs> came to spy and ask foolish questions. And Shadea was the only one bothered by this. Then again, the Elder and his family are Bandari. They are used to being treated like criminals. Anything else, Nosy Walker? So she's not Bandari. Stand a bit closer and find out. This one is quick with her blade and does not hesitate to stick it in those who ask for it. Pray that won't be you. Bother someone else if you're looking for a job, Walker. This one's band has no room to cut in another share. These peddlers can barely afford us as it is. I have the bond are. Darkers crossed the sands of Elsevier led by the fiery one. The mage who ha had never met a soul he had not wished to conquer. These asphalt strangers. So, if this is like. Uh, if it, this is like a uh, true story, then asphalt means that this happened in the first era. Many ages ago. Uh, this feels like a just a children's story because uh, dark elves being uh, as faced is pretty pretty new thing. 
ಹೇಳೋದು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಆಲ್ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ತ್ರೀ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಓಲ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಬೇಸಿಕ್ಲಿ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ The dark elves in these lands seem colder than most. This is no matter. This one extends his warmest welcomes to you instead. The shrine. Oh, oh, oh that shrine. It, it is a place holy to dark elves, yes? Of little interest to us, Khajiit. This one is late in his years and does not remember. But he may have... accidentally wandered through uh, yes that was probably <laughs> accidentally mm-hmm. read right ask shadea this one thought it sensible to hire protection while crossing a land rife with slavers and her sharp eyes yeah. miss not tell tell vanian not to part of and the back you are so they to ask a keeping slave walker make yourself at home among the bandari As Bandari our travels take us wherever the roads may lead us. The roads happen to lead us here to this Salen Mora. We sought to stay at the Grand Outpost east of here but it seems to be in ruins. Perhaps you have come across our kind in your travels before. No matter. We are traveling merchants seeking to sell our wares in all corners of the land. This one was born on the road and has traveled with this caravan all of his days. Shadea and her mercenaries are not, though they would be welcome among us if they desire to be. Our clan opens its arms to those who wish to follow the way of the Bandari. Very different from what this one has seen of these Telvani, yes? This one has seen many years pass and wearies more easily of travel. He thinks just this one more night will do well for his aching bones. You are welcome to join us, Walker. We have food and tents to spare for those who share our company. Okay, so that's that's Bandari. Okay. You are still standing? Ah. Another is trying to, that one is trying to sleep and that's bothering. So basically this character can can do Okay, me really didn't uh, give me any boards.
so this is pretty big. All may bask in the talisman's divine glory. Talisman. From a respectful distance, please. <laughs> If High you're priest. here to bask in the presence of the talisman of St. Boris, I humbly ask that you do so out of arm's reach. If you have any questions about the relic's history, I'd be more than happy to answer them. Shh! Not so loud! This is a very delicate situation. We need to ensure that what few pilgrims we have aren't scared off by any of this. Relossi hasn't exactly kept us apprised of her plans. What did she send you to Of course she did. That's it. I'm sending a priest to shadow her. After Relossi came through to examine the talisman, I've had to stand watch. I've made sure not to let anyone get too close. Especially not any... Uh, outsiders. It's been exhausting. An elder Khajiit came by and showed yeah. more genuine curiosity for St. Voris than any Telvani that visited the shrine in years. Accidentally. I'm not worried about him, Sarah. I've heard the dangerous ones travel in groups, like that caravan <laughs> by. Mind yourself. I'm so glad you asked. Okay. This shrine has stood since the dawn of the Second the Era second in era. honor of St. Voris the Immolent. Patron saint of House Telvani. I am the High Priest, and I oversee the care of our most valued relic, the talisman of Saint Voris. Saint Voris believed that we honor our ancestors yeah, that, through the is, forceful expression of will over others. The gem within the relic exemplifies this belief. It was claimed in conquest during his march across elsewhere. Actually, that's... That is actually what the book in camp said. So, has... Dagoth Warren visited elsewhere? Actually, he was present, probably, when... Borno Morovin succeeded from, from the first uh, Empire of the Nords. So he was probably present in the peace talks. And he's probably friend of the Nerevar. So he's probably pretty, pretty, pretty old. And might have traveled widely. So this is actually even possible. But he wasn't a uh, crazy guard back then. Not so claimed in conquest. The shrine is dedicated to exercising our forceful expression of will. We hope to someday unravel the hidden mystical properties held by the gem that eluded even the great Saint Voris until his death. Testing one's will on the talisman serves as a humbling reminder that forceful expression of one's will is an unending journey. Salen Mora used to be a haven for aspiring Telvani, pilgrims eager to test their mettle. But alas, those days are gone. Most come to visit the crypts. Few stay to properly observe the majesty of the relic. I cannot understand why. Admittedly, we have had an influx of visitors since this Lark character announced his intentions to steal the talisman. I'd hate to think that spectacle was the only thing calling pilgrims to the shrine anymore. And if the lock succeeds, there won't be anything here worth visiting for at all. Please, make sure Elossi stops him, will you? The Bandari might try to actually steal this item back to the Khajiit. Not to Elossi. Okay. <laughs> Uh, that's that was the paper. Excuse me, please step back from the relic. Oh, well, it, it has like Elsevieria feeling. There's those games, but it might be some kind of soul game. Parenzia. Yes, that's that's actual actual name. 
of the but not the parents here. Out, outdoor temple. Parables of Saint Borders. Following the middle dawn, Saint Borders oversaw expanse of the exile at the necropolis. So, middle dawn is, is uh, before first era. So, probably he uh, he the Saint Borders isn't Varun Degas, according to this. Bones of Gulgamor chill, curling out of White City and boxing the brittle stone rain of the, the sky. Crush the complainers. <laughs> His end would find him in battle far from the land he called home. So let's let's say um, Moravin succeeded from the from the uh, uh, first first empire of Norse in uh, about 400 first era. Battle of Red Mountain was six six hundred about about so. So it's not impossible that Verun Degat was uh, born before the first era. Let's let's check. Middle Dawn. Middle Dawn was the longest dragon break in Tram Tamrielic history. Which accord? Okay, so it wasn't time, but. So it was from uh, Middle Dawn was the longest dragon break uh, beginning in first era two thousand uh, two hundred till its end uh, first era two thousand two hundred and eight. Yeah, we we can believe that uh, Varun Varun Degas died in. Uh, 600 up about in the Red Mountain. So, if he was following the middle door, okay, so that's uh, 2200. And we know the first era ended uh, uh, 2926. Sorry. Why I know this? Because there's a book, book called uh, in that name, so that's that's how you learn the learn the when the, the first that I ended. But yeah, so be, being a lore buff, middle dawn, so two hundred two thousand and two hundred Saint Vorus. and Gulgamor Chill was wasn't around then. Uh, Vivek probably killed his monsters in some undetermined time. Uh, before or after the Red Mountain. So he was making trips to Anequina and took slaves. Interesting. So these these uh, these writings actually do not support the theory that uh, Saint Vorus was uh, Vorun Degas, which is kind of good idea, basically. That that would be like pretty hardcore if if, if that was the thing, because that that would actually change things.
Yhden magical path, niin. Ni- ah, you need a flame spell. Conjure a flame, Atronach. You have command of a thousand su- such spells. <laughs> so, every, every, every uh, problem has a solution. Mastering conjuration. <laughs> Just conjure the Daedra to do something for you. <laughs> yep, that, that, that can actually happen. Pantam Guar. So are they are allowed in temple, apparently. He just slipped past. I just saw him. The Lark of Rosgard. He's in the crypts. Just need a moment to catch my breath. I was setting up protective runes in the crypts when some sweet priest came bumbling in after me and set them off. We were forced to flee when the spirits of the interred attacked us. And then the Lark of Rosgard managed to slither into the crypts. He's so slippery, there's no guarantee they'll even slow him down. Quickly, please. If you can help deter the spirits, I'm sure we can corner him and stop this once and for all. Quickly, into the crypts! We can't let him get away! Yeah, we didn't have a time to talk, but yeah, I, I think the... Oh, she was hurt. I think the... Yeah, it's Cutler. Uh, that's a... Shit. I don't think... Dunmer's actually buried there a bit uh, dead. That's Ashlander who would do that. Uh, um, uh, Dunmer should actually cremate their dead people. Thank you for following Maya. Maya John. I hope you I didn't but butcher your name. Are you ever going to introduce us? Quit running away and I'll do more than that. Yeah, most welcome. How are you doing? I'm doing doing fine, thanks. CS Popki and Cod. I know yeah. that fetches here somewhere. This ca- these are really, really good games. They need need skills. Skill based gameplay. The, the Elder Scrolls Online is kind of theme parkish MMO. Be me just looting things. Uh, this I have already, but I suppose I can get it somewhere. And the talisman is mine. Ah, uh, that, that's a real talisman. That where it is, the yeah, it's a replica. The wiser. It could be our little secret. No, no, no. How did he know? Nobody saw me. How could the Lark have known? He has the talisman. The real talisman. I made a replica of the original. Switched it out without the high priest knowing. Then I hid the real one down here to keep it safe. Maybe the thief's plan is based on Batman Gambit. The high priest refused my order to take the relic off display. He thinks it's safe as long as he's watching it. But the lark could steal stripes off a cat. If I couldn't stop his heist, I thought I could at least trick him into taking a replica. That arrogant sweat! And if that foolish priest hadn't prematurely set off my runes, I'd have clipped the Lark's wings and had him dead to rights! Maybe Lark is a priest. Tell me this isn't over. Tell me you found something useful. Something at the Khajiit camp, maybe. A story. Great. Yeah, this, what this is what, what, what I thought. Visit the... Wait, wait, wait. Did you read this? His legend says the relic holds this eye of Bandar. I need you to get back to the camp quickly before the high priest intervenes. Keep an eye on that elder. If he's really involved, Catch you later. he may not know the danger he's put himself in. Believe me, even if only one of the Khajiit is conspiring with the Lark, the high priest will make sure the entire caravan suffers for we'll, it. We'll do. I'll 
I'll see to High Priest Trelum. I'll assure him that you're in pursuit of our thief, and everything is going as planned. If you don't manage to recover the talisman, well, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Because I'm an armager, I should delight in such a grand and poetic experience. But no matter how clever or prepared I am, every chapter against the Lark ends with me playing the fool. This refrain only ends when I beat him for good. The replica, you mean? <laughs> I know what the Lark said, but I actually have principles. A code I try to live by. I can downplay the caravan's involvement, but I'd have to tell the truth about my actions. I've caused enough trouble already. You mean the third-hand account that directly challenges the religious importance of the most sacred relic in the shrine of this peninsula's most influential patron saint? I wasn't planning on it, no. Did you forget who you're talking to? It's not my place to challenge the faith in any of the patron saints of the Great Houses. And even if it was, do you really think that stubborn high priest would give the story any credibility? I don't. You really think they'd have packed up all those tents and left in the time it took us to get through the crypts? Nobody's that fast. Not even the Lark of Rosgard. Keep an eye on that Helder. See, so it doesn't say anything. Birth file. Dead by daylight, Nicolas Cage. Bell! Would you like to play <laughs> Nicolas Cage in Dead, Dead by Daylight? I, I might not do, but I liked the Hellraiser. That was cool. But it was like pretty hardcore <laughs> difficulty for players. Bloody cloth. And what the hell? dead. Can't can see it. Okay. This didn't go so well. They're still alive in the ruins. Walker, please save my family. Shadea kept pushing to leave. Elir Sudro insisted we stay. And then he told her everything. The relic. The thief. Secrets we swore to keep. He spoke on the ice value to the Bandari. But she heard only the promise of coin. Took them to the ruins. The relic is the price of their lives. Too late for me, Walker. Please, find the Lark. Okay, so Save their the mer mercenary turned on them. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, so Bandari lost some some people. Thief, you do not know Shadeya. Everything went off without a. Wait, where is everyone? Well, do you want to good news or bad news? And I think he's. That might be Breton. What happened here? Did you do this? I knew Relasi was desperate to get me, but I never thought she'd order something like this. Shadea? Why did he tell her? That old cat is too quick to assume the good in everyone. And perhaps I'm about to make the same mistake, but I'll ask it plainly. Can I count on your help in rescuing my client and his family or not? You think the Bandari are paying me? They could barely afford to pay their mercenaries. The Lark of Rosgard never leaves a job unfinished. Simple as that. Stealing is so inelegant a word for what I do. I prefer to think of it as reacquisition. And the simple answer is that some things are much better earned than bought. Trust, for example. If I give you the talisman, will I have earned yours? When we get to the ruins, I need you to barter with Shadea. Do whatever you can to keep her occupied with the talisman. While you do that, I'll do what I do best. It's a gamble, 
but I think we can pull it off. I have some answers, but let's not go on too long. As much as I'd welcome seeing Relasi, I think it's best if we keep ahead of her for the moment. I met Elior Sudro with a bounty on my head. He could have turned me in for the payout. Instead, he welcomed me into the caravan. And that story of his ancestor tricking St. Voris into coveting the Eye of Bandar always stuck with me. The Bandari believe that favors should be passed on, not repaid. The Lark of Rosgard was born from that idea. Still, we both always wanted to reclaim the Eye of Bandar. So we planned it with some trickery of our own. Leave that to the customs of the Bandari. His family wanted to reclaim the Eye just as much as him. Going alone was never an option. Still, the camp was vital to misdirect investigation, just as the Lark of Rosgard serves to misdirect motive. Reacquire, not steal. And no, the only things I keep are memories and my notorious name. She was on duty guarding the Library of Vivek when she almost caught me reacquiring a rare first edition on behalf of the original author. She took it very personally, and she's been obsessed with catching me ever since. Oh, sure. Within kissing distance every time we've met. The only reason she hasn't yet is luck, plain and simple. But you'll never see me admitting that to her. Better to leave her thinking I'm at least one step ahead. She's obsessed with my every movement. But I'm the flirty one, sure. Oh, I wonder if she'll be jealous when she finds out we've been working together. I keep telling her we should run away together. That's probably what she tells herself to keep from saying yes. You really don't trust me, do you? If you must know, I was waiting until you ran off to try and catch a moment alone with Relasi. If I had known what happened with Shadea, I would have come straight here. Nothing. All the times we met before, there was this fire in her eyes when she pursued me. Now it's... gone. I think I pushed her too far this time. I thought making my presence known would have just made things worse. So I left her alone. I'll meet you at the ruins. Remember to keep Shadea talking as long as possible. Okay, talking mission. Ten years before this game, Britain, Perry White. So it, it's believed that Perry White actually caused the plague. Here, yeah, here is, is the this part of the Morrowind. enemies sell swords uh, 
Walker! Come no closer or this one will bleed out the elder. Where is the thief? Should they have pleased? This one is sure that Walker means no harm. We can talk through this, yes? You should have kept your nose to yourself, Walker. This does not concern you. What? Where did you... It does not matter. Give it to Shadea, now! With so many hands grasping for it, someone must pay well for it, yes? Shadea is losing patience. Toss it over now! What was that? No! Curse you, thief! No! He stole the captive. You pay for this, Walker! Surrender the talisman or the others die! Oh no. Please, Walker! Save this one's family! Give her the talisman if you must! That's Relasi. Follow my lead and play along. Stop right there! You've tricked me out of the talisman, but you'll never catch me alive! <laughs> Scoundrel! Thief! But I accursed you and hound your steps for all your days! <laughs> well, that was convincing. This one is Where not in... <laughs> This one is not injured, Walker. Perhaps it is a better fate than he deserves. This one misplaced his trust and now pays dearly for it. Those who tried to fight back were killed. Please, Walker, none of this was worth the lives of my family. Save who you can. I came as quickly as I could. As soon as I saw what happened at the camp, I followed the tracks here to the outpost. But Beck, what a terrible thing. If there are any others left alive, we need to save them. I'd have been here sooner, but High Priest Trelum kept badgering me with questions. He hasn't even realized his precious relic was replaced with a fake. When I got there, he'd taken it off the pedestal and was clutching it to his chest. While there are lives at stake, I couldn't give a nix. If you can go after them, I'll escort the Elder here safely out of the caverns. Can I still count on you? Rescue the hostages here. Somehow the map is uh, pretty wrong. Is this even the right map? Nice warm lava. You are a true friend to the Bandari. Accidents happen. My thanks, Walter. You will not give the talisman willingly. This one shall pay your favor forward. Oh good. I was starting to get worried. Actually, it might be a boss matter. The others just passed the me. They're safe. Now, all that remains is to decide the fate of the Talisman of St. Boris. She wouldn't. The only person Relasi wants to suffer for this crime is me. And she still needs to catch me. 
Besides, if the High Priest knew about her little stunt with the replica talisman, she'd be finished. We've got that we can hold over her. Way ahead of you. While you were saving the hostages, I doubled back and managed to steal Relasi's replica off the High Priest personally. <laughs> Serves him right for not listening to my favorite armager in the first place. So I could give it to you. Will you honor the patron saint of House Telvanni by restoring his shrine's most beloved spoil of war? Or will you don the mask of the pariah and deliver them the replica? The choice is now yours. For everyone involved to keep their desired reputations, there is no one else I can trust with this decision. It has to be you. I mean, I know what I'd do, but it's in your hands now. Relasi has made things hard for herself, remaining a decent person in her line of work. Even her making that replica was done with the best of intentions. Chasing someone for so long with little to no headway can't be easy. She deserves a win. When we've just started having fun? No, no. The Lark's got plenty of work to do, believe me. And if I wind up playing the fool in Relasi's story more often, I think that's something I can live with. Relasi follows a code, as did St. Voris, as do the Bandari. As I do, and I'm sure you do too. Our codes clash and harmonize. Most of the time, they pass in quiet opposition. I'm holding out hope that Relasi and I will harmonize again someday. No, no. See, the important thing here is that Relasi didn't catch me. In fact, you looking like you caught me works in my favor. Trust me. She needs the encouragement. It'll keep her from giving up. My reputation wouldn't be half of what it is today without Relasi making me notorious. Uh... It's a valuable thing to have in a long-term adversary. And she keeps me on my toes. That's useful. Even if I'd much rather she have me on my back. As far as Relasi knows, you only have the original talisman. If you give the original to Elior Sudro and the replica to Relasi, she'll have to pretend it's the real thing or get herself in a whole world of trouble by admitting how she lost it. Then you'll have honored the tribunal and saved the shrine of St. Voris from a fate of worshipping a worthless trinket with no real <laughs> mystical properties for time immemorial. Or, perhaps they'd be doing that either way. Who can say? What they don't know won't hurt them. <laughs> the Eye of Bandar has been lost for generations, and yet the Bandari kept its legend alive through stories. Is the faith in St. Voris so fragile that the loss of one relic would send it crumbling? That question, my friend, would be best asked of Elior Sudro. Though if you've heard the tale of his little ancestor, you may have some understanding of it already. Yeah. See you around, stranger. And send my fondest farewells to Relasi, will you? So we can actually, actually decide who to, who to give. And since I'm actually playing the Agent of the Tri Tribunal, so basically head of Alam Alexia here, Mire is actually actually wearing the suit of uh, head of Alam Alexia as well. That's that's my own design. It's it's kind of combination to old and new armor pieces. But anyway, yeah, I think the. If I'm true to myself, there's only only one one uh, choice, and it's it's going to be like uh, give give the trinket back to the Eriklasi, uh, not the Kazid, because it it would be fair to give it to Kazid, but then again, it's like. They, they kind of messed, messed things up. So not really... Uh... Good, you're back! Just as we planned! You know, I half wondered if you were going to come back at all. Rather, I thought you would, but... I also thought I knew everything there was to know about the Lark of Rosgard. Loath as I am to admit it, I was wrong. The Lark gave them to you, did he? Why? Everything he's done today is question what I thought I knew about him. 
including putting this choice in your hands. If I do, I'll most certainly be stripped of my title as a buoyant armager. I'll be severely limited in my capacity to stay on the trail of the Lark of Rosgard. And who else is going to apprehend him, if not me? The High Priest doesn't need to know the full details of our... investigation. But I need something to return to him. You have something, don't you? Thank Vivek, I had lost all hope. I'll destroy the replica and learn from this day. The only thing I did right was enlist your help. May we meet again. And the next time I cross the Lark of Rosgard, may it be the last. Interesting. Come on, Natong set. Of course, these set names do not uh, basically combine with the, with the, uh, with the actual, actual uh, teams in, in, a, in a DLC. But anyway, that's like... More weapon and spell damage. That's like uh, poisoned weapon enhancement. Oh, really? That's new enhancement. And no, it's not. It's it's not actually. But yeah, come on, a tongue set. It's <laughs> weapon damage, weapon damage, and <laughs> more weapon damage. Yeah, so... Sail and Mora remains ever the same. And yet everything has changed for me. I thought I knew everything about the Lark of Rosgard, but I didn't. I tried to stop one crisis of faith and ended up with my own. I'll send a report to my superiors. I'll remain in Sail and Mora for a few days, just to make sure it's safe. And then I'll likely be back on the trail of the Lark of Rosgard. Oh, I've always had an eye for that sort of thing. The sacred gem looked enough like Moonstone that I made it work in a pinch. Moonstone. A little bit of weathering, using some basic spells, and that's it. Sometimes I wonder if I got in the wrong line of work. It's just being furtive and aware of your surroundings. I suppose I have some sort of intuition I've picked up from my work on... You know what? I'm going to stop this line <laughs> of questioning She would be right like here. great, great thief. No, no, no. I get enough teasing about how good a thief I'd be from the Lark of Rosgard. I don't need it from you two. Now run along before I decide to change my mind about not taking anyone into custody for this case. 